Yeah, it's been to Boston. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Emmanuel, when I was your age, and Lindsay didn't know this before a couple of minutes ago, uh, I spent a year in a place called the Mary Gertrude Godwin Reform School for Boys. That's where they sent me because they couldn't send me to jail. Now, unfortunately, what was happening in my life was a place called Roxbury. Okay. It's in, Malcolm in, in, X. Okay. And in, that, in those days, Roxbury was a rhythm section. It wasn't Dorchester yet. You know, a cat who upper middle class was still living in Dorchester, Mattapan, cats who sort of made it. Roxbury was the rhythm section. You know, me and Malcolm, Malcolm X, Roxbury, a lot, a lot of cats, Roxbury. Farrakhan started out Roxbury. And my problem was that I had hooked up with a group of older cats because I was big for my age. And these cats were wonderful people. But they had a game, and part of the game was let the young dude who's underage do this or that, because if there's a bust, he won't do the time the way they would do the time. And I had to obviously agree with that, and I did. It wasn't like we signed a contract. I loved these cats. These cats had my back, and so I felt proud as a young dude. You know, and we were ball, and we were doing all this, we, we were doing that, and, and I, I was a part of it. And girls were part was a young cat, right? You know, they, 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 they let me look at something, let, they look at a little piece of their lives that was sort of ahead of me, but I was like looking anyway. So some stuff went down. And uh, next thing you know, I was in Dorchester District Court with my aunt. And I say with my aunt, Emmanuel, because it's very important. I didn't really, I was, I had good, good, good people. I didn't have, a, my, my mother and father were, my, my grandparents and my aunts were raising me. And uh, an extended family, people in the neighborhood who were like, you know, raise, basically raising, spend more time, okay. So as it turned out, I had to, the judge didn't want to hear a damn thing. <laughs> All the judge wanted to hear was next, the next case. Okay, so. Off I went to this place. And that was the first time I'd ever felt as though I had embarrassed my family and embarrassed my friends. And even the cats who I was taking this fall for, that was not their plan for me. They, they, they didn't want me to end up in this joint. Okay, so let me tell you this. Let me, let me fast forward this story really fast so you cats can come back at me. I'm in this place. The Mary Gertrude Godson Reform School for Boys, Aaron. Actually, my best friend's name was Aaron, Aaron Lopez. So I'm in this place, and the way the place was built, with fences around, whatever, and there's an elementary school on the hill, the David A. Ellis Elementary School. Now, this is bizarre. They decided to put this reform school in Roxbury. I wonder why, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the hardest cats, the Italian cats from the north and east Boston, they were there. The hard Irish dudes from south Boston, they were there. The Polish cats from the west end, they were there. And of course, the cats from Roxbury was like, you know, I guess that was our home field. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like a home field advantage. The reason why I'm telling you this is because my aunts told me I could not go outside during recess. Do you guys have recess where you can't go outside and do whatever? Do you have all that? You, you have that? Right. My aunts told, asked me not to go outside. And I figured out immediately why. I had two younger cousins, Robin and Tahira, and they went to David A. Ellis School. And it was you know, when it, part of the... They, my family didn't want those little girls to see me, okay, behind these boys, you know, see me down in this place. They said, don't go out. Now, do, do you have any idea that I'm a young cat, I'm not really a bad dude, you know, I'm big and I can throw, but I'm not really, you know, I'm not that cat. But what happens when these other dudes are wondering, why is not this cat go outside? All I do is sit in the vestibule area. These cats outside break and I love to ball. You know, to throw. I loved all of that. But I had to, I sat, because I didn't want my little cousins to see me. Now, understand this. In any institution where there are a bunch of cats, you know, cats always making moves. 